Hello again, everybody. We are back. It's your friend Will. This is the Memory Lapse, and we're 1 0 with the Is It Niv Mizzet deck. Courtesy of some inventive person on Magic Online who probably found it from some other inventive person who decided to take this Drake's deck and remove the Phoenixes, which is ostensibly the most powerful card in it. But so far, we've been winning without the Phoenix, and I kind of get it. it makes the deck a little more controlling. You get to focus on protecting a Drake, which is your scaling attacker. You're a lot less all in on these weird Ichi. A lot less all in on these weird, uh, you know, turn sequences where you got to get those three spells. You're kind of committed. We'll play. All right, we'll keep this double op lava coil search. I forgot to check, does this deck, I have to imagine this deck plays a couple more lands than the Phoenix version, but with all the op, with between the opts, the, uh, and the draw twos and stuff, it's, maybe it's not. Maybe it is just sitting at like 21 lands, but it would make sense if this was more like 23 with, ooh, black cards. All right, so we get our search down here, which gives us an upkeep shot upkeep shot to look for a land if we miss we can opt helps us fill our graveyard probably they'll take enigma drake here or maybe they'll take a lava coil that's okay they kept their card on top mountain we'll gladly library that So they know about these four, our aces and eights here. Spell peers. Don't think we want that, though it is contextually good. It's not very good right now. Mountain, not the color we were looking for. All right. So we have the requirements now for the good Drake. We'll opt again because we're looking for him. Don't want the mountain. Discovery's a nice draw there. Enigma Drake will keep. Though I have to think their hand is like all removal. So let's just discovery here. We need another blue source and a new visit. Perfect. So we'll leave the Div Mizzen on top in case they have another uh, Thought Erasure. And we'll take the Steam Vents. And maybe this is actually with the idea that we might be playing the Mizzet next turn. They're holding up Vrasis Contempt Mana. So maybe this is the point where we do jam this and let them... Oh wow, no counter spell. Let them think about contempting it, if that's what they're on. Assuming they're playing the uh, Yasuoka build, they could also have Chemistry's Insight, but nope, they just pass to the end of the turn. They're just going to play Rituals. So. so, I think we're shocking here and jamming. Assuming they're on that list, there's only one Eldest Reborn in here, and I'm just going to assume that they're not going to just shred us with that in before Eldest Reborn. If they have Contempt, I'm kind of okay with it because they're tapping out on their turn. We're still drawing a card. We're like, it's just not the end of the world. Dream Eater, though. That was not what I was expecting. This is quite a different list from, I guess, what we're used to. This card, I think, is not... Unfortunately, as much as I love this card, I think this card is not especially good. But you can't argue with Surveil 4. Looks like they've been a couple land. 
They bend our hopes and dreams. Hmm. We graveyard that, we don't even get to flip. I guess we're just gonna library it. It doesn't feel great. But I have a feeling they put answers back on top, put like they filtered and put answers on top. Doom Whisper. Shard of course. We need land. I think we're going graveyard because we also need like dive down or spell pierce. I believe this is the one they know about. I wonder if there's any argument to playing the coil here, but I'm thinking no, just a draw, just a cantrip. But we can't follow up with another spell to put the six damage worth of ping on the Doom Whisperer, so. We'll take our six, sir. Press his contempt. Rao. Route is one spell short. Well, no, not if you count the lava coil. Alright, so let's do it like this, because if they have like negate or something, then the Rao follow up kills it. Alright, looks like they don't have negate or something. Yeah. So they're probably going to go digging for another Contempt here. That's what I would do. I'd be willing to pay some amount of life to find a Contempt for a Eldest Reborn. Wow. Yeah, and they're paying. Ew, interesting. Memorial to Genius. All right, so it looks like they found what they wanted. We've all been there. We've all pushed like 10 life into a Doom Whisper before. But usually when I've done it, I've won the game immediately. This is not what I was expecting them to have. No, this does not draw the card. So unfortunately, it's kind of a Nambo with Niv Mizzet. One, two, three, four, five. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we are short. But I guess the question is do we play, play Niv Mizzet or do we play the Crackling Drake? I think we're going to play the Drake. And then use the Ascanta. I mean, now we can play both, right? All right, let's just play both. And they have three things they have to worry about here. And they just have like a stinky old Harry Potter character on the table. Uh, I like this one. Now, which one are they targeting? They can't be targeting. All right, good. They get, they left us row. Well, oh, one turn too late. All right, tick up. Crackling Drake. Discovery. 
So if I discovery here, I can't dive down and use the Ascanta. So I'll wait for next turn to discovery and build up the Strake, and we can probably get it to lethal between two discoveries. And if, if we use the dive down on our turn, which we're going to do right now, resolves. That's bad news. Bad news for them. Hmm. So, I guess their deck. The shocks don't seem amazing. Uh, the strokes do seem good. The melody does not seem good. The other niv mizzet seems good. The planeswalkers seem good. The sarkin also seems good. So, do we cut like one lava coil? How much removal do we need? I kind of want to put Sarkin and I want Beacon Bolt. And I want Beacon Bolt because of its like reusability and its efficiency at killing uh Doom Whispers. Wow, wait. 12, 13, 21. Yeah, so it's 21 land. It almost feels like there could be a land in the sideboard here. But I guess the goal is that we're just going to overload their Vraska's Contempts. And if we see a lot of, like, specters and shit, we can think about bringing the Shocks back in. Uh, this seems fine. Even the spell pierce here is good if they have like search for Ascanta post board. I would counter it. Duress. Duress is most likely taking the spell pierce and we don't want them taking dive down. So we're just going to counter this. So I should say, actually, it's most likely taking dive down. So let's counter it. All right, let's discovery. Hmm. Uh, my instinct is telling me to keep the lava coil in case they do try to slam a specter here. Even though I think it's a bit frivolous. But we I think the only way we kind of lose, like with our hand, is if they have it, right? If they go three drop, like as much as I would like to put that in the graveyard and try to find a land here. But we're not overly punished for it. We play Sofa Falls. Discover again. Chart and dive down. Second dive down seems good. And we get to opt to keep the land coming and try to find a... At this point with two dive downs, we just want to find any Drake. Hmm. That's any Drake. So what's the concern here? The big concern is Eldest Reborn. Which dive down doesn't protect against, but we're definitely just going to wait one turn for the Drake. So we can dive it down, since their most likely answers are... Like, Doomblade, etc. I mean, also their, most, their second most likely answer is a Counterspell. We didn't see any game one, though. Stroked. Uh, hmm. All right, let's discovery for land. Is it guild gate kind of counts? And crackling Drake is good for next turn too. 
and let's play search. That's gonna like flip immediately. And we'll be able to play Niv Mizzet with dive down back up. So I guess the question here is, do we play Niv Mizzet with double double dive down back up? So I guess the one thing we don't want them to do is Eldest Reborn or Niv Mizzet. That seems like a catastrophe. So do we play the Drake first? I kind of like that. So I feel like if we play the Drake, they let it resolve. Well, see, if they had Elserborn, they'd probably let it resolve, right? Hmm. Pay two life. They miss it with double dive down. And let's just let's just force them to have Elserborn here. Oh, this is not good. That doesn't bode well. No Vrasis Contempt. Oh no, oh, we're, still, we're still in the end step. So they could have Vrasis Contempt here. All right, we got the Trips. Trips dive down. And the Rowl. So if they do Ellis Reborn us. All right, for a second there, I thought it was in a bug because it like kept it on the stack. Yeah, that's the one we didn't want them to have. So now the question is, do we cycle these dive downs? Might be worth it to cycle one. Just get a damage on them. Keep this for another champion. Ooh, a champion has emerged. Yeah, we'll do this and we'll row next turn. Discard Lava Coil. Row is actually a really good answer to the Mizzet, so maybe we won't row next turn. This, they're going to be like unbelievable. Dive down number three. This is usually what happens to me when I'm playing against some random person. They just have like every card. I wonder if we can, I mean, we could, we could hit a sequence here that just kills them. So we do get a chunk for five. The Stainful Stroke's kind of good. Opt and Sarkin. Both seem good. Nine. Eight, seven. Yeah, I think we just killed them here. Eight. Twelve here seems fine. Seven. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. We got them. Elserborn didn't have time to bring back that Niv Mizzet. Cool. All right. Hey, we're back at it. We're finally winning games again. It's been too long. Oh yeah. So two zero. This deck feels sweet. I hope you all agree. Um, and I, and just like last round, I'd like your thoughts on sideboarding because I'm pretty much coming to this deck cold. I think what we did was right in this match. And I mean, at worst, I think it was two cards off, which is which is pretty good. You know, it's like magic is kind of like horseshoes in that sense that you get some credit for being almost there. Uh, yeah, so that's it for this one. If you enjoyed, please remember to like, subscribe and comment. And of course, we will be back again soon with the next round. So look forward to that.